Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Investor Z34. And today we're going to be doing a quick uh, update on my GX460. Some questions had come up uh, whenever I had posted up uh, my mods online. And so I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick update. It's been a while since I've done a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through uh, just some general updates. I mean, the last time that um, the vehicle was on my channel, um, it was mostly stock with the exception of, uh, I think, some uh, Southern Style Off-Road sliders. But you can tell I'm now lifted. Got some uh, skid plate goodies underneath there. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be talking about my Z over there or the battery. We we're charging it up right now on a trickle charger. And uh, you know what? I'm going to get some videos in soon about my Z. Um, just some other stuff I've been wanting to do and uh, just haven't done lately. But Anyways, back to the GX, let's talk about some updates. So first things first, uh, I am lifted now. Pretty nice, pretty excited with the way it all kind of came out, but yeah, just kicking it off with the uh, lift. So I uh, ordered a uh, King suspension about, oh, seven or eight months ago at this point. And uh, if you're going online, if you're thinking about getting a kit yourself, what you'll find out right now is that a lot of kits are going to be backordered for approximately nine months to 12 months. That's just kind of like where we're at currently. Um, really not a lot of great solutions from a King's perspective, but if you want the best, you're going to have to wait. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I have the rears in right now. The rears are the King suspension for the GX and the front as like a workaround temporarily. Um, I've had to go with uh, some Bilstein 5100s. Um, I'm expecting the fronts to come in sometime in uh, September right now. But yeah, um, unfortunately, it's not really much that we can do. Uh, King, when I called them, they were uh, super, super helpful, super nice. The, also the shop that um, uh, is doing all my installs and stuff like that for, you know, suspension stuff, some bumper stuff I want to do as well. Um, they've been really communicative as well, as well, just doing whatever they can do. And unfortunately, because what's going on around the world, um, can't really do too much else. But yeah, I have Bilstein 5100s in the front right now, and then the King suspension in the back. Uh, for upper control arms, I have uh, Total Chaos upper control arms. Uh, been really happy with them. No noises or anything like that so far. Um, so hopefully that kind of uh, stays the way it is right now. Um, let's swap over to wheels and tires right now. So I ordered some SCS uh, F5 wheels in the 17 by 9 by negative 38 offset. And they are paired with these slightly larger than normal on a lot of GX's, which is a uh, 285, 75, 17 tire, um, which as you can tell, based upon all the cutting going on right now, uh, is fairly large uh, for the GX. So naturally you kind of like run into uh, some trimming that really needs to be done. I thought it might've been overkill at first with uh, how much was taken off, but you can see even now the clearances are pretty tight and I'm still hitting um, this reservoir up here a little bit. So if you're gonna run larger tires on the GX, just know probably gonna end up hitting uh, this reservoir. They've been known to crack. A lot of people just uh, end up going to a different size reservoir, like more of like a custom setup, which is the same thing that I'm planning on doing right now. I ordered um, a different reservoir online that I'll be going over in a different video. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit um, for this larger tire than normal, but uh, so far so good. We did have to do a uh, body mount chop down here and uh, they did a really, really good job on it. Looks very clean. Um, really not a lot of rubbing still. Like I said, I think one of the last pieces that are still rubbing is going to be this reservoir and it's really only during like extreme um, wheel turns uh, with maybe like a little bit of incline. I still run a little bit, but uh, rub a little bit, but kind of is what it is. Comes with the uh, comes with the territory of being lifted with a big tire. 
Um, some other things here, I know the pinch weld, uh, just looking here, has not been hammered down. Um, that's still, um, I guess, OEM. So nothing that has really been uh, modified there, just the body mount chopped down there. So I, I was wondering what they were gonna do, if we were gonna have clearance issues, if we didn't hammer down the pinch weld, but actually it's been fine. It's been fine. Might do a little bit more trimming um, down here um, on some of those parts, but yeah. And then what we did on the front was we went ahead and did a uh, bumper chop. And you could tell if you're used to the uh, front end of the GX, you know, it, it does hang down kind of low. But uh, since we put on the sliders over here, and um, if you have a GX, you know, these are uh, laughably long on the side, but if you, uh, if you get the chance, you'll put on the sliders and then you'll just kind of chop that OEM piece where it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit higher. So to match that, uh, just decided to do a front end chop as well, just a little bit more high clearance. And it looks great. It looks great. It's also um, kind of showcases if you have like any armor pieces down below. Like I have that uh, RCI uh, engine skid plate that kind of sticks out looking good. Talking about looking good, uh, the trim piece here, man, I was getting a ton of questions about what people were using on this trim piece. And uh, luckily um, somebody that messaged me on Facebook was able to find it online because um, I did not do the chopping of the bumper. That was just done at the shop. And I'll probably just go ahead and um, link that product uh, in case you uh, you know wanted to trim up your GX yourself. And really like that trim because I think it sets it off really, really well. Really, really well. Um, let's keep on walking here. We've pretty much uh, done the front end, like I said. Um, anything else over here worth mentioning? I mean, no, I'm swapping to um, the metal bumpers front and rear uh, here shortly. So I would, I say here shortly, I mean, might be three to six months, I'm guessing. I mean, it's probably three to four months of waiting for anything that you really want. But, uh, you know, I guess that's kind of just where we're at. We have the, uh, SSO, that's the Southern Style Off-Road um, skid plates. Really like these a lot. Um, the rear uh, piece right here is really helpful, especially whenever you're getting in. Um, let me see if we have anything here. Oh, you know what? Something I didn't call out yet is on the Yokohama Geo Landers, which is the uh, 285, 75, 17 tires that I did go with. Surprisingly, not a lot of road noise. I was expecting a little bit more road noise than what I ended up getting. Um, any trade-offs, I would just say, you know, whenever I'm still on stock gearing right now. So whenever you do the stock gearing um, with the GX, with these size wheels and tires, it is just a, a little bit more sluggish. Um, I chose not to re-gear yet. I mean, that's definitely in the future, but um, yeah, not a lot of noise for the tire. I'm very happy so far. Um, but yeah, re-gear in the future, very possibly. I'm wondering, you know, basically how the how the GX is gonna do with heavier steel uh, front and rear bumpers. So just might have to cross that bridge uh, sooner rather than later. Um, back here, one thing I wasn't expecting that I, uh, I kind of messed up on whenever I ordered the wheels was on the, um, the SCS wheels. I don't have caps for the rear. And apparently that's a thing uh, whenever you mount it to the GX. Um, don't know if there's a workaround for that. So I guess I'm kind of investigating and uh, seeing whatever I can do about that, which may be nothing. I can't, I, I think there's a story behind why I can't have the center caps on the rears, but um, really I just don't know it off the top of my head. So I'll have to investigate. Um, I have my Kings back here. So far so good rides super great in the rear and the front. I mean, all things considered the, uh, you know, if you just had, you know, a basic, you know, lifted setup for your GX, I mean, the 5100 Bilsteins are great, actually. I've, I've actually been pretty pleased. Okay, so stepping off into the back here, similar to what we did up front, 
Uh, the rear end has been uh, chopped some to give a little bit extra clearance. Uh, definitely looks a little bit more aggressive. I still have uh, my stock tire underneath there. And that's only uh, so I don't set off the uh, TPMS uh, uh, system, which is just your tire pressure system. Take out the spare. Um, it's going to set off a light on the dash. You could still do a, uh, a workaround for it, but really I just decided not to mess with it. It's really not too big of a hassle. Um, or it's, it's not, <laughs> it's actually didn't take anything to do because, uh, you know, I just left it in its place. But, um, yeah, overall, extremely, extremely happy. Would be very, very confident in driving a stock gear GX with a similar setup, uh, both around town and even on long distance trips. Very, very happy. Um, I know in the future, just talking future state here, um, I have the rest of my skid plates still coming in from RCI. Um, by the way, if you're if you're thinking about armoring your uh, your GX, cannot say enough good things about RCI. Just a great company, great product. Can't say enough good things. But um, I have the rest of my skid plates coming in, so we'll get them installed. And uh, I'm still trying to pick out my front and rear bumpers for uh, the GX here. Going to probably do. Uh, some victory 4x4 uh, front bumper and rear bumper combo um, Supposedly it's about four month wait uh, To get that in so I mean At this point I might as well just kind of like do everything at once So I have my Kings coming in probably in September or October might just go ahead and place an order for uh, the bumpers now um, Just so that I can have them ready to go same time that I do the uh, the King's fronts um, whenever they come in from the manufacturer. But yeah, um, I have some other things planned as well. Um, but those are kind of like the big things. Uh, maybe a little bit of lighting. Um, but yeah, just going to keep it stock geared for right now. Still very drivable. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much all that I had today. But I just definitely wanted to share this with you. Um, just kind of doing a general walk around. Um, I am going to be releasing some more content on my Z. I know it's sitting over here neglected right now, just neglected. But, uh, you know, I'm really, really enjoying my GX right now. Uh, if you're, if you're on the fence about purchasing one, I would highly suggest getting one. It's just been nothing but fun. So, you know, more content on the GX and more content on the 370Z to come. And that's where we'll kind of uh, end it today. If there's any questions, just go ahead and uh, drop them down below. I'll go ahead and get to them. I always like answering promptly. Uh, yeah, yeah, plenty more to come. Once again, skid plates, very, very near future. Um, I'll get some more content on them. They don't get a lot of views. I just figured a lot of people would be coming across it. Um, and uh, I find that uh, sometimes people just like those instructional videos and uh, you know, a lot of times they're a little bit better than actual written instructions, um, just so you can kind of like see it visually. But yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, please remember to like the video and subscribe. But uh, yeah, ask away with questions below. Take care. And uh, I'll see you in the update videos. See ya. Bye.